This is Marlo and Marcy from Love and Hope. We want to welcome you back to Keeping It Real with God. Welcome back. Start with our Lord's Prayer as always. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen. <clears throat> Today we're going to discuss being born again and what it means in our lives. Our lives are filled with defining moments, moments that shape the rest of our lives, moments that are so important that the rest of our lives hang in the balance of these moments. We are talking about spiritual birth. The Bible calls it being born again. Either way, this describes the experience of placing one's faith in Christ. Amen, it sure does. Uh, John 3, verses 1 through 6. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are, you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with you. Jesus replied, Very truly, I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. How could someone be born again when they are old? Nicodemus asked, Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. Let me assure you, you can be born again. Right. You sure can. It changes everything. It changes your entire outlook on life. Everything about yourself changes from that moment on. Everything. You basically start all over with life again. You've been cleared of your sins. Clearly you've repented. You, you, your life has more meaning than it's ever had. More meaning than it had before. You'll see a significant growth in yourself. You'll notice things around you that either have grown or just stayed the same. People around you that are stayed the same. You know, you, you'll look at them a lot different yes, you than you used to. Uh, at some point, <laughs> you're thinking about if it's you. Are, are you the problem? What, what's wrong with me? What the heck's going on? You know, until you can figure out what's going on. You realize that they haven't changed at all. They're the same person they always were. It's you that's changed. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is uh, one of many things that we both have went through on our journey, being born again. I remember being around some of the same people I were around for years. But I noticed things were different about them. And I questioned myself. The heck's going on? Why do they look like this? Or why do the vibe I get from them is so different? How come I they're feel moving uncomfortable different? around them. I feel uncomfortable around yeah. some of them. Yeah. Everything changed. Everything. Your mindset changes. Everything's new to you. Right? Yeah. I mean, and you realize, like you talk about being different. The things you watched. Things that you used to enjoy watching. We found that comedies... <laughs> Comedy shows that we yeah. used to love to watch. We can't stand to watch them anymore. You don't realize how <laughs> how bad they really are. 
until you're looking at it from a different point of view and you, you almost at times feel like I'm turning into a prude I just <laughs> this this isn't as funny as I thought it was or yeah. you're offended by some of the things that they say now that you thought were funny before well, I would say you know I know for a chunk of my life um, I would cuss a lot I enjoyed it seemed to be and the moment that I was born again I stopped a lot of things are taken away from you you surrender a lot of your old self you, you surrender your old self you give yourself up you sure do. to become a greater version of yourself a higher version of yourself pretty much everything that our Lord and Savior sees in us that we don't see I was looking back at the video we did for Thanksgiving hmm. and it just reminded me talking about all of this you know being born again in Matthew 18 3 which we went over in our thankful video but it says unless you change and become like little children you will never enter the kingdom of heaven there you go they're pure children are pure still yeah and we're so tainted and by think society I, and I touched on that being corrupted by our society you know things that are shaping the world Yes. If, if we don't let those go if you don't make an effort to let them go now see you don't have to go through a traumatic experience to be born again no you can consciously make the choice to want to repent and be born again and it's it's an incredible journey it, it really is it sure is you know it, it takes you back to where things have crushed you hurt you it takes you all the way down to your core but then you transform into such an incredible credible new version of this 3.0 of you yeah. that you just didn't even know about yourself you'll find strength that you didn't think you had courage honor being loyal and faithful to our God to others caring you'll love more than you've ever loved deeper than you've ever loved mm -hmm. you'll find that true unconditional love that God provides us with of what it means to love one another you see how that's possible no matter what they've done one of the able things to find that yeah uh, it's it's incredible uh, one of the things uh, you'll have a kingdom mindset focusing on getting to heaven uh, you'll focus on doing the right things all the time uh, if you find yourself at some point uh, drifting from that you oh, hear that little voice that you'll, you'll you hear know that it. voice you hear that little voice telling you I you shouldn't know. be doing this yeah should yeah. I be doing this and if you've questioned it again you're you shouldn't have been doing it yeah but it's literally sets your mind on that that route alone that's all you think about is living the right way trying to be a better person living the right way talking the right things saying them walking the right way being guided by our Lord and Savior it's incredible it's an incredible journey I'm telling you uh, once again a kingdom mindset uh, the next one's everything is new to you you're new back to the childlike yeah you're born again you start out with a clean slate mm -hmm. everything's cleared again 
You are that innocent, pure child again under God. With that, you know, I found myself wanting to spread that to the people around me, the people I care about. You know, you you want that to filter out to them. Uh, you you want to try to teach them. Now, obviously, everybody has their own journey, their own path that they are on. But with your new being born again, you want to stop them in their tracks so they don't make the mistakes or mistakes you've made. You know, you'll start being able to see the direction they're going in quickly. And you, you want to help. Like yeah. I said, we're here to help everyone. Sure. Uh, training your mind. Thoughts of the king. Who's our king? Our, our, our God, our Lord and Savior, our, Lord and Savior. our master, our father. Thinking about our Lord and pleasing Him. Well, what pleases Him? To love one another. Amen. To care for one another. To help one another. This is not hard. The things He's asking us to do, the most simplest form of a peaceful life, caring, more prosperous life, to love one another, love somebody the way you want to be loved, or treat people the way you want to be treated. That's what he's asking you to do in the most simplest ways. Now, there's people out there that aren't doing it. They don't care. They don't care who they hurt for whatever reason. But there's a lot of you out there on that fence 50 50 they may hurt somebody for emotional purposes get away from that don't make your decisions off of pure emotion think it out work on it there's always a better way of figuring it out Talk it out with somebody. Your idea, their idea comes to a much better idea for the both of you, for everyone. You know, there's people out there killing people, not caring about the families that they're that they're hurting. Some people are dying, they got kids, grandkids, friends, friend, brothers, sisters, mothers. I mean, do you guys really think about you're not just hurting that one person. You're hurting a lot of people. Nobody ever thinks about that. That just because you have a vendetta against one person, you're getting right. You could change the lives of so many by what you're about to do. Not just theirs. You're taking away maybe a father, a brother, a son. A favorite uncle whatever you know he's he's the only income they have in their house he's you know but what do you do to your own family you know these people don't think about this if if they go out and kill somebody and now they end up in prison for having done it you took a father or brother away from this family and maybe you just took a father a brother mother from your, daughter, family. From your own family because you're going away for the rest of your life now I mean, there's a better way of doing things. I mean, and really, what do you, you think to a lot of things, what are you fighting for? Territory, my block, your block, my clothes, your clothes. It's all God's kingdom. None of that matters. This is all God's, and that's what we need to remember. This ain't your block, his block at all it's all about god and what god gave us this is his earth not ours yeah this is his block and that one over there is his block too 
and the other one and the other one and you guys think about claiming this turf and that turf you know when God comes down claim it all how you gonna fill it in they ain't gonna be standing there saying this is my corner <laughs> this is from here to there that's ours no they're gonna hit a knee like everybody else and beg for repentance it ain't gonna matter in the end this this doesn't matter we're here to help everyone out here to be happy love light it's what we're out here for to make a better earth earth's been freaking corrupted sure has but that's what we're talking about is it's all in you know being born again you don't feel that way you don't live that way anymore yeah to be happy in everything you do every moment of every day worrying about others caring for others okay um the way you act you know i remember when i was younger my mom and grandmother would always tell me when we went out somewhere lord you better act right better not be showing your butt Uh, you become disciplined in life you're just everything becomes more disciplined about you uh, the way you act you find yourself disciplining your disciplining yourself, yourself more yeah. um, correcting yourself more in the way that you're acting about things the things you say the things you do the people you're around yeah you and really, even if you want to correct them no judging yeah <laughs> you can't judge them um, and you don't as much you don't you judge don't. what people do around I think you as much you realize everybody has their own path their own journey um, human. You, you're a little more lenient to some things um, but you also know that you can't be around a lot of things those things don't mesh up with you anymore they don't uh, apply to your lifestyle or your way of thinking um, you've outgrown them out out perform them in, in a lot of different ways and it's not that you don't care you love them you no. love them all and you love them more. Any better than they are you love them better. you're living a different way now mm -hmm. once you're living for the Lord your your life is completely different than theirs yeah I mean it it truly is it is a blessing but not only in the bad way of find, you know you find people that you didn't go around or spend time with before because you felt uncomfortable around them mm -hmm. because they were already living this way and then you get a chance to get to know them for who they really are mm -hmm. and how good of a heart they have and spend time with them you never lose in this situation no for every person that <laughs> you lose in your life because they're not coming along with you on this you find another one who's on this journey with you already for God and you you know make some wonderful friends yeah people that you would have never dreamed you'd ever have anything to do with or that you would have ever met or wanted to be with people like that because of the way you'd always lived before yeah you are missing out on a lot of wonderful relationships sometimes uh, you have more joy for God uh, I find myself all the time reading stories after stories learning soaking it in taking it in just trying to learn so much more about our God things that he's went through things that other people have went through that love God as much as I do you know you have more joy in general 
for the things that he's made. He created his creations. We catch ourselves a lot just looking at the stars, the clouds, yeah. the sun, the moon, the plants, trees. You notice all the details so much more than you ever did. And you take that time to really think about the detail in everything. You know, mm -hmm. We were sitting outside here a couple months ago and there was a caterpillar. And I sit there and I kept watching him and I, and I mentioned that to him. I was like, you know, look at that. Look at the detail of how, how every little leg as it moves, the, the ripple effect in his body, mm -hmm. how it moves. Down to those slightest little details. Yeah. That you notice those things now. I can't stress enough how beautiful it is to be under God's. Under his wing. Under his wing. And continue to grow under his wing. Him showing you unconditional love. Not the, the human form of love or the way love is perceived out here in this world, but true, pure, unconditional love that you love everybody the same exact way from newborn babies to old grandparents, great grandparents, and etc mouthy little teenagers and yeah snotty nosed brats as we always said you you look at everybody differently yeah you you know what a lot that you didn't want to be around before you find the joy of everybody you, you see people and events for what they are it it affects the way the world works or the way people day-to-day -day things are but it doesn't affect you as much the trouble of life will not phase you anymore it doesn't near as much i mean you you have your ups and your downs yeah and yeah you're gonna worry about things mm -hmm. but not to the extent you did before you look at things so much differently of what's really important you know it's, it's like I had, I had told him you you learn to choose your battles a little bit in life you do that a lot more once you're born again things that you had always thought were important things that mattered so much to you that bothered you so much you step back and you look away from it and you realize that wasn't important some things aren't some battles aren't worth fighting because they're they don't matter to any of it at all and I guess here this was a little thing we had found that talks about grateful for early wake-ups equals children to love a house to clean equals a safe place to live laundry equals clothes to wear Dishes to wash equals food to eat. Crumbs under the table equals family meals. Grocery shopping is equal to money to provide for us. Toilets to clean equals indoor plumbing. Lots of noise equals people in my life. Endless questions about homework equals kids' brains growing. Sore and tired in bed equals I'm still alive so many things to be grateful for if you look at it it's all in how you look at things yeah and with god you can look at things from a whole different angle amen all right first amen. peter 4 1 therefore since christ suffered in his body arm yourselves also with the same <clears throat> attitude because whoever suffers in the body is done with sin as a result, they do not live the rest of their earthly lives for evil, human desires, but rather for the will of God. That's all we yeah. all want. Live for the will of God. Yeah. 
God is so good to all of us. Amen. I mean, even you think back <clears throat> to where things have flowed so good in your life. And you may think, you know, you're, you're making all the right moves and stuff like that. It's the flow of God. Opening doors for you. Hoping. Waiting to see if you give him the recognition from opening them doors for you. That's it. That's all he but wants. But ju just as fast as he opened them, he can shut them down. He sure can. For you to wake up. Praise him. Show him the love. All the things that he wants us to do, he's put into us as we were little babies. Unconditional love to care for each other, to help each other, to stay connected to him. We were all born with it. At some point, we've lost that. It's still there. You got to dig a little deeper, but you got to want to. That's it. You got to find that want in yourself to want to be better, to want to spend eternity with Christ. So just remember, you know, born again. It's a truly, truly incredible thing. You know, people talk about if I could go back and do things differently. It's the same thing. He offers you that chance. To go back. To go back. And do things differently. Be born again. Start clean and live the right way. He will forgive you of everything if you truly, from your heart and soul, repent to him. You can go back and start over. That's right. That's right. Well, I guess that's it. I think we're done. Uh, we want to thank you guys for joining us here at Love and Hope with Keeping It Real with God. We want to remind you also, we still are always accepting prayer requests. You can send those to us at loveandhope333 at yahoo.com. Private personal requests are fine. We still love to pray for you or anyone that you know that needs it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to give us the information. God knows the will and the need behind every prayer. Uh, any other things that you'd like to communicate with us, we'd love to hear from you. And you can also email us at those. We also, down below in the description, we have you know Facebook and some other things there too that so you can check out. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, please share. Let's grow the will of God on our earth. Amen. He's truly calling us. He wants us all, all his children. He wants us to go home. Born again, remember. Our Father, we just want to thank you for everything you have done for us. We pray for those who can't pray for themselves. We pray for those who are on the fence. May they find their way leaning towards you, Lord. Stay guided by you and focus only on you. We all want to be born again. We pray for those who need to be born again but it's not possible without you so we need you in Jesus name we pray amen amen we hope to see you here with us again next time and God bless you all